You visited Belize, you loved it and you can see yourself settling and building yourself a small business just to take you over. But you're not sure how it's gonna pan out? In this video, I have a diasporan and a guest house owner in Hopkins sharing her invaluable experience. My name is Miki, keep watching. Hello everyone, Miki here. Welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working, which at the moment is Belize in Central America. I recently visited the most friendly town in Belize, yes, Hopkins, and stayed in the cosmopolitan guest house owned by a wonderful lady from Trinidad who, after traveling the world practicing nursing, decided to settle in Belize. I was intrigued to share her experience as a diaspora settled in Belize and she obliged. But before I get into our conversation, I'd like to say if you are new and you like to share my experience or you'd like to know how you can experience these places, please consider subscribing and coming on my journey. Thank you very much. Now let's get into our conversation. I am Peggy Fisher and yes, um, this was supposed to be a retirement event here, but it's a total change of pace. It's a it's a lovely lifestyle. Yeah. Living the vacation. Oh, good. You told me that you lived in a diaspora before. Did you live in America? I lived, I'm, I'm, I'm from Trinidad. I lived in Antigua, um, France for a short while, Italy, the United Kingdom, short while in um, Shanghai. Oh, wow. And um, this is supposed to be the last move. This the is supposed move. to be it. All right. We retire, settle down here and... Oh, okay. So what yeah. jobs were you doing? I was a registered nurse. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh. So H that's why I was you... able to move around the world and... Uh, yeah. How long did you practice for? Wow. Um, I'm not sure, but more than, more than 25 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So after all these places, why Belize? First of all, Belize is English speaking. Okay. That was the pull to Belize. And, um, well, my husband was thinking retire to Panama because that's a great retirement program. But then um, one of his friends said, why don't you try Belize? I mean, I, I never even heard of Belize before. Yeah. To be honest, I, I didn't know where Belize was. I had to go on the map, oh. find Belize. But the fact that it was English speaking, that was a major pull. Mm. Good, good. So did Belize live up to expectation? Somewhat. It's, it's a bit more rustic than I expected. It will, be, it will have been great to have Amazon. Amazon, okay. <laughs> but um, once you embrace the change of lifestyle, it's, 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 it's tolerable. It's, okay. it's, it's more laid back, it's slower, it's an easier pace of living. Okay. No more rat race. Good. Can you tell me about the life in Hopkins? As I said, it's totally chilled. Um, it's a small village. Um, formerly a fishing village, but now with tourism in the area, I think everybody has their hand in tourism. Yeah. And when I first came here, what, what was so beautiful to me was that so many of the locals are still in business here. Okay. And it's yeah. great to see my locals, people. Locals, yeah, owning their business. Yeah. yeah. Because normally you go to a place and the total beachfront is sold off to, to expats. Expats, okay. And it's great to see that the Belizean people still hold them. Mm. I think that's So do wonderful. you think there are more business opportunities for people who lives in the diaspora who wants to come and settle? Yes. Do you think there will be yes. more ventures? Mm. What would you, on top of your head, what would you advise people go into when they come to Hopkins? Like what sort of business? Well, we have to see how the tourism industry recovers, although I think it will. I mean, it, it's, not, it's not the first pandemic in the world. Mm. It will recover. But um, what I love about Hopkins is that you can go in there and get a home-cooked meal yeah. from just about anywhere. Yeah. You know, there are so many people who, who are skilled in the kitchen and they, and they, they make their little shops and you can just get a proper yeah. meal a proper meal you know yeah. seriously like you can sit at your mom's table get a yeah. proper meal and for a reasonable price oh. um cost of living since covid it has gone up 
but um, it's still fairly reasonable. And um, once you don't plan to live high on the hog, it's, it's, it's quite doable. Do we have like rental properties that people can rent out or is it all holiday apartments? In the village itself, there are some properties. Um, I have one next door that's, but I said this side of Hopkins is more geared towards the expats and the, um, the tourists. Mm -hmm. But you will find, I mean, you do have locals owning quite a bit of land around here still. And I see them now going into developing. Oh, okay. Yeah, putting cabanas on and, and renting them. Do you, on top of your head, have any tips for anyone who would want to move abroad from UK, US into Hopkins or into Belize? Come and visit, um, spend a couple of weeks. There is a lot of outdoor activity. If, if the outdoor lifestyle is your thing, you would love it here. It's a lot of water sports, a lot of um, activities inland, you know, caving, um, exploring, zip lining, things like that. You, if, if, if you're the active outdoor sort, yeah, you would love this here. Even if you're the laid back sort, you can, you'll find your niche here definitely. Mm -hmm. Even because just relaxing on the beach? Yeah, the beach, the beaches are public, so even if you, you just walk between the, the, the hotels and go onto the beach and find a spot and you, you, you chill for the day, that's, yeah, mm -hmm. no one will bother you there. So Cosmopolitan, um, do you have a story about it? I remember you telling me you, you were looking for a home and you ended up buying a guest house. <laughs> that was my husband. Yeah. When he said we were going to move and his friend told him to check out Belize, he said, Look at a map, see if a place you want to live in. I mean, how can you just look at a map and choose a place? But while I was looking, I was reading upon articles and I saw an article that, about the Garifuna people in um, Hopkins. And then Hopkins was voted the most friendly village in Belize. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a plus plus. Yeah. <laughs> so I looked around and did find some, some houses of interest. I, sh I made a list and he, he came to Belize and he looked around. Yeah. I mean, I, I looked at other places in Belize too, but he came to Hopkins first. He, he checked out a place, then he spent the night at the Cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. And um, it was up for sale. And he was like, hmm, why buy a house when I can just get a business and have the business pay for my retirement? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a laid back business because mm -hmm. It's, you're living, the, you're living here. It's not just you're working here. You're, you're living it, taking care of the property like you would take care of your own house. Mm -hmm. and, and then getting um, visitors at, at, at periodic times so you get a chance to interact with other people and, and make that part of your life. So yeah, he was excited about that. Oh, that's good. Um, how many rooms do you have here? We have seven rooms. It's just a small place. Mm. Just a lot. Well, three rooms and three cabanas, you know, it's, it's small. It looks, but it looks really good. Peaceful. You wake up to the bird sounds, you know, you get to see some wildlife. I mean, I, a morning I woke up, there was a big commotion around. The birds were making a lot of noise, more than usual. And, um, I was going to walk the dog and I was like, why is it like that? And I'm looking around and there I saw some activity to the back of the house before that, pro that the property was built there. And I saw this bird sitting on a branch. It looked totally majestic. Mm. I took a picture of it yeah. and um, showed some people and I was like, oh, that's a laughing falcon. I said, wow, it, it, it looked yeah. so... I've, I've seen some yeah. of those before. I mean, I've seen Quatamundis running through mm -hmm. here. I, I've had iguanas walking around yeah. <laughs> just in the backyard, you know. Sometimes you step outside, you just wait. Just let them do what they have to do. Yeah. I was coming walking my dog the evening. I saw coral snake okay. over a foot long. I was going to call some guys to come kill it. Then I thought, why am I doing that? Mm. The snake is just being a snake. Yeah. You know, this is his backyard. I am True. invading his property. Actually, yeah. So I just stood there, waited, picked the dog up so the dog wouldn't do something crazy. The snake just slid around, went across the road, went into a clump of um, rocks, and yeah. that yeah, was it. Yeah. You know? Good. Do you have any advice for 
um, people living in the diaspora, um, if they want to either um, settle in Africa or in the Caribbean, would you encourage it? How do they prepare for it? Explore, see what you can do. Because maybe something that you are already doing where you are, you might be a mechanic, you have IT skills, or you have, um, um, you, can, you can do carpentry or something. You can find their places, you can just settle in, become part of the community and continue your work, right? And as I say, you don't have to live high on the hog here. Wooden houses, you can get, if you don't build it yourself, you can get one for about 45,000 okay. in Elysium. All right. You know, just find a piece of land and settle in. It's, I find actually the simple living is, is, the, is the best, you yeah. know? Especially as you get older, yeah. you don't you don't need to be part of that rat race. Yeah, true, very true. Mm -hmm. So to get a land and to build something, let's say two bedroom for yourself, mm -hmm. how much do you need US dollars wise? Around here is expensive. Around here. Oh, so okay. I would say I paid um, it's almost sixty thousand for a lot. But if you settle in and you spend the time, I think you need to be a year in Belize to, to get um, the chance to apply for residency. There are government lots you can get for about a thousand, oh, yeah. okay. a thousand Belizean. Okay. So is that when you have your residence permits? Yeah. So, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good tip. So that is, there is mm -hmm. that possibility, as I say. Because right. Belize is green. There's a lot of uninhabited areas. Mm -hmm. And, and some of the, sometimes they, they run programs where they open up areas and they, they, they sell out lots to people who, who can. Yeah. So if you're not looking for a tourist area and not looking, as I said, for fancy living, mm. just a comfortable life, you can find something at a reasonable oh, price. Good. And maybe how, how much to build a house, just a small two bedroom? I was say, the, the Mennonite houses, they, the, the wooden, like this wooden house across there, that a two bedroom, that might be about 45,000. But is that Belizean or? Belizean. If you're okay. building for yourself, and if you get friends in the community to help you build, it's mm. going to be a lot cheaper. Cheaper, okay. Thank you very much um, for, for doing this and I'm sure someone will find it helpful. One thing to remember, insects. <laughs> insects. They can be terrible, yeah. <laughs> so prepare for that when you come that, in. That. Yeah, true. Uh, I found that last night. <laughs> okay. I enjoyed my stay at the Cosmopolitan Guest House and I'm sure you will too. The place was neat and Peggy was helpful too. Please visit cosmopolitanbelize.com for more information and to book your stay for when you visit the beautiful beaches of Hopkins in Belize. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to come on my journey of new experiences and see you in the next one.